Hello Zebra Herd, welcome back to Plants vs Zombies 3. Welcome to Zomburbia. Today we have our daily login reward, so I'm gonna go ahead and claim that right there. Awesome, so we get some extra power-ups that I'll use eventually. But for now, it looks like we're making our way over to the pool. We have a hole in one. Beat levels on your first try to earn awards. I'll try my best, but it looks like a uh, tugboat over there is already sleeping in the pool. Help sunflower grow. Sunflower needs your help. Complete levels to watch it grow. Aw, that's cute. So we'll have to work on this too. Just playing more levels to get more stuff. We're way down here for now. It's telling me about everything right now. Good to know. Imp's back alley bundle. Okay. Okay. So many pop-ups, I just wanna play the video game. <laughs> Here we are, we're doing level 39 so that we can move on and actually begin day four. So let's get that started, uh, if I can. There you go. So level 39 is gonna have sunflower, snow pea, bamboo shoot, squash, and lily pad, which we just knocked in the last episode. So that's pretty cool. Ready, set, plant. I'll start with some sunflowers wherever I can get them, it looks like you know, obviously we need to get some lily pads out too. So the levels have been getting more and more difficult as we go along. So I'm just trying my best to stay on top of everything as much as possible. But I can only imagine that's gonna get progressively more trivial for us. Okay, let's go ahead and put that lily pad right there. Just wanna build up as many lily pads as possible. When it comes to actually, hmm. You know, getting something out to damage them down. I guess a snow pea would probably be what's worth focusing on first. Yeah, I'll do that there. But the the imp shows up on the bottom lane now too. That's not so good. Uh, hmm. I'll do a sunflower. Then I think we'll try to save up for a squash, so that I can just squash the imp away. But wow, that happens! Three more imps pop up. Are you kidding me? That's where we really need a bamboo shoot. But man, that's gonna be a lot. Uh, this is terrible already. Okay, so I'll do this, and I'll do that, and that should at least get rid of one of them. Oh, I really could have used like a, a walnut here or something. I don't know, sort of a mess, sort of a, a bad situation, but I'll put that there, this here, and then I'm just hoping that bamboo shoot doesn't get destroyed here, oh no. Um, Got it, Whew, close one. Get that there, put this here. Oh man, a total mess right now. I just do not have the capability to deal with all this at once. Okay, squash, get that there. Excellent. Sunflowers over this way, but we need to deal with everything else now, and that's where things are proving to also be difficult. Come on, come on. I'd like to get this one here, uh, maybe another sunflower on that. Okay, this is pretty terrifying but I think I can get a snow pea on that one. If I can just keep putting the lily pads off to delay some things, that'd be great, but I don't even think that's enough at this rate. Because I need to squash in that bottom lane. I think we're just gonna have to rely on Mo for that bottom lane, actually. Any other option here isn't looking so good. Okay, lily pad there, and then oh, destroy them before, yeah, the, the uh, Grapes of Wrath do their thing. Gonna put that there, try to buy some time. Man, this is ridiculous. It's just too much. I don't really know how we could have survived this one. I think this might be game over for me. Yeah, it's looking like it. Uh, I don't know if I have any extra brains at the moment, or, or I guess if it's infinite brains. It looks like it is, so I'm just gonna try this level again. A rough start to be sure. And that's where I get a little bit scared with this game is because I know the original PVZ3 beta was just so difficult sometimes. And I'm a little bit worried about that catching up to us here soon enough. But I will try one more time without power-ups before we start resorting to those. All right, let's go for it. So I'll put a sunflower right there. And a lily pad there. I'm just going to try to make the most out of that situation. So you think, you know, just the more sunflowers, the better off we'll be, but sometimes, even then, it doesn't work out so well. Okay, I hear this one zombie. I didn't know if that was an imp making that noise, but I think I probably just want to hold on for as long as I can with all of this. Maybe eventually get a snow pea out here, because here comes that one imp. I don't want to deal with that. So maybe a snow pea there would be a good move. Another lily pad on this side, and then another sunflower right there. Because luckily, the imps are sort of stacking up over that way. So that is good. And I think I will do a snow pea here. That might have actually been a bad idea in hindsight, though, because I don't know if that's gonna be enough to actually 
survive all of that? It doesn't look like it, so I'm gonna go ahead and squish you. But the problem is I need to do that over here too. I have not gotten enough sunflowers out. This is already like a disaster again. It's crazy how ridiculously tough this is. Um, Because I can't really do too much. I just gotta rely on Mo for that one. And maybe dig that sunflower up because I need that space somewhere. Ooh, this is so tough already for the first level of the day. It's kicking my butt. Not good. Um, I think that we will continue like this. Yeah, I'm not really seeing this one work out. I'm gonna try again. It just gotta keep going until this works out a little bit better. So I'm sort of doing something here. I've already lost Mo, but I'm earning up some sunflowers. I'm getting whatever I can out, wherever I can get it. It's still a total mess, and I don't know entirely how to feel about it, but I think a snow pea on each of the ground lanes for now feels pretty good. And then a sunflower right over there. Also seems like a good idea. I think working on more snow peas now might be our next best bet, so get that there. And I do have the squash ready for another group of zombies here. Not exactly sure where yet, but another snow pea there couldn't hurt. Okay, I need to get more sunflowers out here soon, but just I can't really is the problem. I think we're just gonna go ahead and squash this group of them and then get more lily pads out to slow these guys down. Because we need a bamboo shoot there, a little bit where they're gonna get destroyed, but luckily this time we actually lasted a little bit more towards the Grapes of Wrath, and we're in a pretty good position overall because of that. So if that can just keep going, the problem is we're about to lose that bamboo shoot. Come on, come on. Ooh, was able to buy a little bit more time with that lily pad, which definitely is helpful, but it's not enough. We lose the bamboo shoot anyways. And that's not even mentioning all the bucket heads on that bottom lane. This feels like an impossible level right here. I don't know, this feels like one of those ones where they're like, hey, let's make it so that you have to use a power up. Which, I love the option of power ups, but obviously power ups are sort of designed in these kind of games to eventually run out. They give you a lot in the beginning and then they don't give you as much later on in the game. So I'm just trying to make what I have last until those really difficult levels where it really feels like we have no choice. Even that, not easy. Okay, doing a bit of that. I'm still a while away from a squash right now, so getting a sunflower out here maybe just to buy a few seconds might be my best bet. I think I'll get another bamboo shooter over here. Come on, that squash is almost there. No, it ain't my Snoopy, I can't believe you. All right, I think we'll do a cherry bomb right about here. There we go. That makes things a lot more doable. Then I get this here. I maybe dig up that one sunflower and just try to get a bamboo shoot in the bottom. Ugh, we had to use a cherry bomb. I didn't really want to, but I also didn't want to play this level anymore. We'll just keep moving with this one. There we go. That should be enough to get rid of you eventually. Just take some time. Because I know we probably have a lot of levels ahead of us, so definitely worth it just to get through what we can. Lawn clear. All right, well. Could have been better, could have been worse. 61 coins, I'll go ahead and double that so that we can get some more stuff. Okay, so with all of our coins, we should be able to just move on. And we have our first ticket for this day. So let's do this one. <coughs> Please remain at a safe distance. <laughs> Z-fog decontamination in progress. All right. So it looks like, once again, Poor Mo here has to take in all of the fog. It seems to be hurting Mo more and more. I wish there was more we could do to help. Dang it, Mo! You can't keep huffing that stuff. It's dangerous. My safety is of secondary importance. <coughs> Zombie threat identified. <coughs> hey, is that? It is. That's Durr. Stole my thinking chair. Earlier. So that was tugboat, I think. Tug, tugboat. A break? So you've turned Crazy Dave's pool into a steamy stink spa, stink spa, and you didn't even think to invite me? Tugboat? No, I would not have gone, but it would have been nice to be asked. I am hurt, Tugboat. Hurt and disappointed. Get back to work! Oh no, poor Tugboat. Always getting bossed around. Greater Dave, that chair is equipped with <laughs> thermodynamic rockets, is it not? Oh, Gorgle, you're right. I bet we can hack into the chair and activate those rockets remotely. <coughs> New directive, sneak into hacking range without being detected. 
All right, so looks like we need to sneak up on Tugboat. And for that, of course, we will need another ticket. So let's hop back into the action with this one, level 40. We have Sunflower, Walnut, Pea Shooter, Bong Choy, and Lily Pad. I always love seeing Bong Choy. So hopefully, whoa, it's just water? Oh no. This is not gonna be an easy level, is it? This is gonna be so challenging. Word is out here in the middle of a lake. I mean, the good news with this is it means the zombies move slower all across the board, but it means we need to be very particular about a lot of things. So, I will do what I can here to make this happen. But right now, it's this. So the zombies are starting to come in. All right, get those. We almost have a full lane of sunflowers already, though, so that's pretty cool. Or full row of sunflowers. Okay, right there. I need another lily pad. Or I think that's, I mean, as far down as I can go, right? Yeah, okay. So probably just that and this. And that should be enough to get rid of one zombie. The other zombie behind it, though, I'm not so sure. So that's where maybe I could do this. Is there actually, I'm not sure if there is, but it looks like there's not league points for this level. I don't know if it's just that we just can't see the sign or what, but definitely seems like we, we can't get league points. All right, let's see if I can't beat up that imp. So many zombies have so much health in this, so it's crazy. Anyways, I should probably still work on getting more sunflowers where I can, but at this current rate, I don't know if I actually have the opportunity. I'm gonna put a walnut there to help me buy some time. And then we want a lily pad and a bong choy to finish them off real fast. That'll be really good. This is my opportunity to maybe put down another sunflower or two. So right here, and I do see an imp coming in from that way too. So if I could just keep it moving for a little bit longer so that I can do, no wait, that's not what I wanted. Oh, that's a waste of sun. I might just have to, oh, this is not gonna be so good because that imp might push their way through a little bit. You just ate that in one gulp. One gulp on that lily pad. I can't believe that, there we go. Luckily we survived some way, somehow. Let's get a bong choy here. Ugh, this could get really bad, actually. Unless we get lucky with where the zombies are spawning in. This could end in disaster. But not a time to give up. Not when there's still so much more to do. Yeah, luckily the zombies are popping up in spots where we already have plants, which definitely makes it a lot more easy to survive. And then if I could, ooh, I don't know, this one's a little bit scary, but we do get the Graves of Wrath. That wasn't too bad. These cherry bombs, I guess there was a little bit space to my left. I didn't even realize that. Whoa, okay. Uh, guess I'll put this on fire there. Ooh. Okay, how do I wanna do this one? Because the issue with this one is that this bucket head is gonna give us an issue. So I might just back things up a little bit like that. And I really need a pew shooter on that bottom lane as soon as possible. Something like that should do the trick. And then, ooh, I think right here, just to start punching that cone behind us. And then we'll need a lily pad too. Oh no, oh no, wait a minute. I don't know if that was a good idea. This is messy. Okay. So I don't have a walnut for a while now. That could have been a big mistake. This is the last setup of them though, so maybe it'll be fine. Maybe it won't be. Gonna dig up this one some, I have 13 sun. I really don't need it. So we can just punch through all this, do something like that. I need a walnut, but I just don't have the lily pads for it. They don't restore fast enough. Okay. Actually, we don't even need it here. We made it through the level on the first try without power-ups. That's what I'm talking about. We didn't even have to use Mo. Awesome, so some extra coins coming in, 55 in total. Nice. So, lunchtime, you got an event reward. Let's claim our prize then. It has 100 coins and 30 minutes of brain time. I have more brain time than I know what to do with. I guess we just keep playing. So, that was pretty cool. We spent our ticket here to sneak up on Tugboat. Observation, the zombie target is too preoccupied napping to notice our advance. Now is our chance to sneak in, sneak within hacking range. Cool. Directive update, creator Dave, you may commence the hack when ready. 
Okay, so hack Dave's old trail. Oh, we did. We played a level. We walked 15 paces over to the to the other side of the the pool. That was not much happened there. Before we get into this next level, there is Vase Breaker. I mean, we'll get more brain time if we need it. But ready, set, break. What's going on with this one? I might go a little bit crazy with this one. And just pick up a bunch of sun. Okay, that was a good idea because now I can just put these pea shooters down. This was a really, really simple vase breaker. Not too much going on with this one. But as you can see, with enough time, we defeat the zombies and we should just get extra brain time for it. Cool. Uh, that was a really, really basic one. I wish I would give me a ticket, a brain ticket, just to make things a little bit easier to survive and get through, but it does not. So let's keep it moving. We have Sunflower, Walnut, Pea Shooter, and Bonk Choy for this one. There's no lily pad, so I'm guessing it's not gonna be in the water. Heads up, Pigeon Feeder Zombies will summon zombified pigeons all around them. Oh no, this is why Patrice didn't like pigeons. Zombie pigeons fly and avoid most plant attacks until they land. Okay, that's really, really tough. I remember the pigeons from PVZ3, like the original beta. That was a nightmare, now that I'm thinking about it. Okay, now I don't like the pigeons very much either. Oh no. So what do we do about that? I guess it's more bonk choice, right? Let's get some sunflowers out then, prompt out. And I guess this walnuts wherever else I can get them so that we're making the most out of the timer. There we go. Just need one more sun from one of these sunflowers and we can place another one. Got it? Okay. A normal zombie's coming in. That's not too big of a deal. But yeah, we don't have the league's uh, signs anymore. I guess maybe I just got to as far as I can get with that or something, or maybe the time ran out. Not really quite sure. I did take a little break between episodes. Okay, just trying to get the sunflowers out then as soon as we can, but more pigeons are about to pop out from all that, and that's gonna be a little tough. So I think I do that. Yeah, here come those pigeons. Ooh, this is gonna get nasty. Let's see if we can't just get one more sun right there. Bonk choy. Start punching away those pigeons. That wasn't bad. Okay. Probably more sunflowers back this way would be a good idea. Especially since the bonk choys and the pea shooters seem to be handling these pretty well. If I were to do any, I would just do that there. Final way of approaching already. So this so far isn't bad, I don't think. The walnuts really aren't getting too damaged. I thought this would be a lot worse. Okay, I do see down there a bunch more zombies and a bunch more pigeon zombies too. Uh-oh, maybe I did speak too soon before. But the walnuts are looking healthy. It's always good. We almost have the Grapes of Wrath here. In a few moments, we should get it. I can get one more sun. Come on, somewhere, somewhere, somewhere. Got it, got it. Some of these walnuts are looking a little beat up. Uh, now the pigeons are coming in. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of pigeons. Uh, walnut there. There we go. Grapes of Wrath coming in to save the day. That's awesome. We can get another bong choy right there. And I think with that, we'll be able to survive this. Here's hoping. Yeah, I think we're good. <laughs> Jeez, that was crazy. I'll go ahead and punch you away. Man, oh man. Lawn clear. At least it was a faster level now. So there's some extra coins. We get 43 coins and a taco ticket. All right, so that was pretty good. Enough for maybe this. No, I need two tickets. So let's go and just play another level straight away. We get two squashes this time, but no pea shooter. So let's see how we can handle it. Not really giving me much of a heads up on what to expect for this level, but whenever it gives me a lot of squashes, I feel like the levels are always really challenging. So we'll have to see if that's the case this time. We do have three flags to survive. Even with three flags, the levels are pretty quick. They're not the, you know, the long kind of levels that we see in the original PVZ, or even PVZ 2. I don't even use speed up half the time, the levels still go by fast. Here's zombies coming from somewhere, but we just don't know where yet. Where yet? Okay, so here we go. I will go ahead and just put a bong choy there, and immediately start working on getting more sunflowers out. Oh, okay, there we go. Sometimes I struggle with the touch screen. Luckily, the zombie showed up right on the same lane that the bong choy was already on, so that buys me a ton of time just to place more sunflowers. Really good stuff. Okay. 
Got it. And I probably wanna work on walnuts wherever I can because walnuts obviously with their long timer, the sooner we do that, the better. And there's another zombie on the same one. I can't believe that, whoa. Very lucky, I can already get a bong choy over here. Just keep with that. We're already more than halfway to getting our next walnut. Here comes the first flag of them. So I will just maybe put this one here. Okay, this is where it gets scary. I wanna squish you right away then, right? If I squish you right away, you won't be able to get any pigeons out here. That's the strategy. While we're trying to survive for now, we gotta make sure that happens. Gotcha. Okay, so there's that one. We still have a little bit of a sun shortage here, which is surprising, but if I just get more sunflowers out, I suppose that'll solve it. Okay. So, grab all those, and I'll do that. Bong choy there. And I guess, once again, we should squish you. I mean, now we have a bong choy everywhere, so not as necessary as it was before. I wouldn't mind working on like a second layer of bong choy just in case things get a little overwhelmed here. So I'll work on the ones that don't have the walnut just yet as like a backup measurement. Definitely squish these two. Boom, got it. This is the second flag out of three. If I can get a walnut where the, the bucket head and the imp are approaching. I feel like that's the one I need to worry about the most. So we're in a really good spot. So far this level's pretty doable. I think we're actually at a position now where I can speed things up too. Uh, there we go. Tons of sun. Wow, that's actually so much. So I should be able to handle this if we're all that worried about anything. The squash should do the trick. Any of the walnuts that look beat up, I just replace them. Some pigeons come in but I just can put more bong choys out. I have so much sun that I can just put throw away bong choys out. Crazy. Even if they only last for a couple of hits, that's definitely still something. See that right there? Is this mostly the pigeon zombie we have to worry about, but now they're knocked out, so we'll do this and this. And that's just squish the rest of them, maybe. <laughs> All right, there we go. Just one more pigeon, you got it. There it is, excellent. So the pigeon zombie actually proving to not be too bad, especially if we get rid of them sooner rather than later. We get 51 coins for the level being completed. Almost 5,000 and it's lunchtime. What do we get in this one? 100 more coins and the chili pepper. A delightful lunch. So we're back out here now with two tickets. I can go ahead and hack um, the chair, the tugboat's in. So Crazy Dave is up to it, he's hacking away. Launch, yes or no, uh-oh. What's gonna happen? The wireless seating device has been successfully hacked. Ready to launch the zombie target on your command, Creator Dave? <laughs> it worked, now let's send that zombie for a ride. To do that, of course, we need three tickets. Oh man, launch tugboat. All right, let's get to it then. For level 43, we have just a walnut pea shooter and squash. Ready, set, plant. So we start with 50 sun on this one, but no sunflowers. So I think I probably want to just get walnuts out where I can. They're a slow restore, so just having them sort of protect us there I think is a good idea. And I guess we can speed things up a little bit because I'm just waiting to see where the zombies are gonna pop up. Okay, so just pea shooter there. I mean, I guess I can assume that a pea shooter is gonna be needed on every lane, right? So I don't have to hesitate too much with that idea. There we go. Pea shooter and walnut seems to be, you know, good enough of a combo. And they're gonna be slowed down in the water too, so that's pretty good. We have to be careful about our sun consumption, but we are getting more sun from the sky, so. I think we'll be okay. So far, this seems pretty doable especially once they get slowed down in there. Got it. And we just need one more walnut. Oh, the pigeons are coming in. They float right above the water, so that's why the walnut is pretty crucial. There we go. Final wave approaching already, though, is pretty nice. I'm just gonna go ahead and squish this bucket head because I don't wanna deal with that. And I think these pea shooters should have it covered. 
Let's go ahead and put this one here just so we can get rid of you as soon as possible before you can even call on the pigeons. Amazing. There we go. And even before the Grace of Wrath can do their thing, we get that level finish up no problem. So since we have so many levels to tackle here, I just want to keep moving. All right, so uh, yeah, just two more levels to go. This one has lily pads, snow peas, bamboo shoots, nothing new, but you know, still worth tackling. Ready, set, plant. So this one is an interesting puzzle with the river sort of going diagonally across and then back over. Okay, so do that, get some lily pads out too. And I guess a sunflower there. I think this is too low. You can't put it down here. So I'll just start filling it up in other spots. Where are these zombies gonna pop up first, huh? Looks like we can imp over here. If I can get a stone pee, I'll have to deal with them first things first. I think that's a good idea. We don't have a squash, but we do have a bong choy this time. So like there's, there's still options to make this work. It's just a little scary for the time being, but it's just that one imp. We're handling it pretty well. And another imp. Once again, we're getting really lucky, shows up on the same lane as the other imp did. So I don't have to place any new plants to fight you. And that's good, because it gives me more time to sort of decide. And once again, I get another one like that. So I'll just keep placing some flowers, if anything, with the <laughs> recurring amount of uh, zombie showing up on that one lane. Definitely reinforcing it with some of that stuff seems like a good idea. I'll get some more lily pads out wherever I can. Finish our second row of sunflowers. And sort of spread it around a little bit more because I'm sure it's gonna start popping up a lot of zombies all in the same or similar spots. So if I could maybe just do bamboo shoot there, snow pea down here, that seems like a good idea. Now we need to just continue filling out this river with more lily pads. I don't think I need any more sunflowers though. If anything, a bong choy here might be a good idea because that's a lot of zombies coming over. And then I would like a bamboo shoot on that bottom lane, right here. There you go. So making that work for sure, another lily pad here would be a good idea. And then a bamboo shoot there. Do you see that pigeon zombie may be causing issues for us? Uh-oh. So I guess I gotta deal with all those pigeons. Maybe the bamboo shoot's good for that. Hard to tell for now, but I will get a lily pad out just like that. And we're about in the clear with all that. I guess I just need to focus on bong choy for a little bit here, especially since these pigeons are probably gonna start attacking fast. I need to be ready. All right, uh, just one more sun is all I need. This poor sunflower is getting a little hurt, but seems to be okay. Got it, got it, got it. And uh, this right here, got it. Okay, I think we have this level under control at this point. And it's just collecting as much sun as I can, building out more lily pads wherever possible. Hmm. I think we're good. Well, it looks like the, uh, the Graves of Wrath came out there again. But I think at this point, I mean, obviously if I can get extra bong choy out, that might be a good idea. Cause it's not like I'm saving up for anything like a walnut or a squash. So just more offense with the extra space that I have here. Ooh, the Gargantor is coming in though, that's scary. I think that's where I actually want to replace and just put a bamboo shoot there. Anything that adds some extra attack power to that is definitely worth the while, in my opinion. That's exactly what I did right there. Just go ahead and just continue to do that. If I could put a bong choy now behind the Gargantuar, so it doesn't have any risk of getting destroyed, just like this. And just punch away at this Gargantuar. He's gonna throw an imp sooner or later. So if I can just do him in before that happens, it'd be fantastic. I don't know if it'll quite work that way, but here's hoping. Keep punching bong choy, there it goes! Oh no, come on. It, we just need one of these bamboo shoots. Yeah, there we go. I guess the bong choy actually did it, that's awesome. There we go. Wait, no, okay, that's him slamming. I thought that was him getting knocked out. Not quite yet. Yeah, there it is. Awesome. That was a really good level. We made it through pretty darn good, I think. So lawn, clear, lots of extra coins, 66 in total. And what do we got next? Looks like we need to uh, earn up one more ticket, right? I don't know how many tickets we have right now. We have two, yeah, so gotta complete one more level. 
All right, ready, set, plant. We know the deal with that. Immediate sunflower lily pad. There we go. So this one just has like a pond in the middle of it. Again, with a lot of uh, aquatics so far today. With this one, there's another. And I will just get some lily pods out behind it. So we have pea shooter, snow pea, and bong choy. A little imp popping up over here. So I think we start with the snow pea, just to slow this imp down and beat it up that way. I think that's a good idea. And I just hope that I can get as lucky as I have these previous few levels with zombies showing up on the same lane over and over again at the beginning, because that really gets me in a good spot for everything else. Got it, got it. Looks like, yeah, another zombie on the same lane. I don't know if that's like intentional, how that exactly works in terms of the game design, if it's random where the zombies spawn in or not, but uh, if it isn't, then yeah, we're getting really fortunate with it. Okay, so I'm working on more sunflowers. I could also get a bong choy right there. Let's see if that's worth it overall, over time, because a huge wave of zombies is coming in. Sunflower. Okay, yeah, definitely get this here. Now the lily pad. Just working what I can. So we got so many zombies in the same spot, but now it's really starting to pick up. So that's why I want a snow pea right there. And then I guess if I can, a bonk choy where that cone head is. Oh, none of the pigeon zombies coming in too. That's gonna make things difficult, but we can do it for sure. I need to get at least something on that one lane if the pigeons are coming in. So there we go, there's that. And I definitely need some more sunflowers. So just don't slack on those either, if possible. All right, a little bit more progress. Bong choy's out there too. One more sunflower just to you know set up those two rows. Certainly a little bit overwhelming at the moment, but one more snow pea there just to have it so that everybody's getting slowed down everywhere. And now I think it's full focus on just finishing off the bong choys. Get a couple lily pads out just to, once again, make a buffer between us and the zombies. We have one more bong choy left to go, but there's not even any zombies up on that top lane, so we're good for now. We have the space to really get it done. I just wish we had some walnuts or something to protect these things. Because if not, it's just, it could be a little rough. So I'll try a normal pea shooter. There has to be some kind of like performance difference between the snow pea and the pea shooter. Um, just considering the fact that they're the same price. Because why would we ever get a pea shooter if the snow pea fires at the same rate and damage and also freezes them all at the same price, you know? So I think that it's probably that it does less damage or just doesn't attack as often. So I think those kind of things are worth considering. It's the last huge wave up here. The bong choy is swinging away at these pigeons, wherever they pop up. Let's uh, dig this up if I can. There you go. And I think that'll be about it. We just gotta keep punching pigeons. So let's speed that up. So this level was very doable. It was like really just that first level that was such a struggle and then everything else after hasn't been too bad. All right, there you go, 47 coins for us right there is always pretty nice, and lunchtime, you got an event reward. Let's claim our prize then. We get 200 coins, a couple of other power-ups. Awesome. So, with that done, we should be able to use our three tickets like that, and, ooh, three, two, one. Uh-oh. Wakey, wakey. Not good. He's getting launched. Ah! <laughs> See you, tugboat. That was so cool. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. We should make more zombies fly. On second thought, flying zombies sounds horrible. Look at what those Zog Miggins did to my pool. The water was crystal clear when I left it. And look at those poor trees. They're all wilted and dropple gone like they've been scorched by the stank nastiness. This whole area is a biohazard. And look, more vote for Zomboss posters. What's up with that? Maybe he's competing in a beauty pageant? He's gonna need a, he's gonna need a serious makeover. 
Speaking of makeovers, let's clean up the lawn and get rid of those horrid posters and plant some beautiful new trees. All right, yeah, let's work on it. So new task, plant new trees. And this one luckily only requires one ticket. So let's get to this next level. We have a pretty average assortment of plants here. So we just need to plant what we can, where we can. Starting with some sunflowers. And then afterwards, plenty of other plants, I'm sure. So as soon as we can, it is time for another lily pad and another sunflower, cool. So, got that there. Not so bad so far. Just working towards this first flag of zombies. What are we going to see as like the first thing here? If I could earn up enough sun for a bong choy, that's not such a bad idea we have the squashes to protect them, but I heard the gurgles of the zombies before, but they're not popping up quite yet. Okay, grab that sun, put a lily pad here. I wouldn't mind just doing two rows of lily pads. And the bong choy for this brown coat should be able to take care of it, no problem. Got it. Oh man, and there's a lot being accompanied there. A whole bunch actually, whoa. Okay, so lily pad, put that there. A lot more stuff to punch you. Why is it all the same lane? I know I was excited about that before, but this one's a little overwhelming. I mean, it's working out, so maybe it's totally fine. Like it, it has to be intended that it's supposed to be happening that way, right? I don't know, it's a little weird. No other zombies anywhere else. So a huge wave of zombies is approaching now. Looks like the flag zombie is over there. Oh, the pigeon zombies are coming in too. I wouldn't mind squishing one of them. Looks like we're squishing normal. Uh, Brown coat as well, so that's pretty good. Now I get this here, I wait for another lily pad so we can put a snow pea down somewhere. I think that's a pretty good setup. There we go, we just need to start working on maybe populating the bottom two lanes a little bit more. So maybe I put a snow pea here and then a bong choy on the other one. Just to spread things out a little bit more, I just need one more sun. There we go, awesome. Pigeon zombies are popping up again. Not too much I can do about it at this exact moment, but we're getting there. We're definitely getting there. So, this here. One more sun to get our last snow key. Excellent, so we need to work on our last bong choy now. And we should be good with the second flag so far. I wanna mind getting an another snow pea row out here too. Just with how everything is going. go. All right, oh my gosh, <laughs> so much punching, so much punching. I think I do wanna get some of these zombies. Double bucket head is still pretty scary even for this setup, so I think doing what I did there was a good idea. Uh oh okay, got the, the Grapes of Wrath, the Berry Blast, whatever it is. Cool, cool, cool. And just one more Snoopy should do the trick here. Final wave approaching. Right there and right there. So I think, yeah, Gargantua is heading over. That is definitely very scary. So I just wanted to speed things up a little bit so that we can get over a little bit more. And then boom, squash squishing. That's pretty nice. And then as soon as we can, we want to get a bong choy behind them. We continue punching them in that way. I think I dig up this sunflower. Here we go, we are punching you like crazy right now. There we go, we destroyed this level, that was great. Lawn clear again. And with that, a bunch more coins, 63 in total. Amazing stuff, and we get ourselves another lunchtime event reward. This time, a bunch more power-ups and 200 coins. So the surprises aren't too surprising at this point. It's always brain time coins power up. All right, so that is enough, of course, for us to plant new trees. Right over here, we have a choice between these trees with the uh, sparkly lights, this more autumn-themed, or this one with the nice pink flowers. I think we'll go with these, because I usually don't choose these ones. With those lovely trees in place, hours of landscaping happened. Wow, what a difference. Now we need to clean up all that disgusting slime in the pool. <laughs> Suggestion, pickle trinkets. <laughs> Horsey pancake bumper. Chug it. I think the the Z fog has pickled Moe's motherboard. Sounds like this carbon num num is shot too. I knew something like this would happen eventually. Is there anything you can do to fix them? I could swap out the damaged components. 
Maybe even Agapaga some upgrades while I'm at it. What are we waiting for? Let's upgrade Mo. He'll be better than ever. Okay, so we need two tickets to upgrade Mo. Let's get to it. So for this one, it's just Walnut and a bunch of squashes. Let's see if we can't squash our way through this level. Might turn out well, might not. Oh man, it's actually a little stressful. I think we will get a Walnut out as soon as possible. Just sort of see how this goes. We got the two sun there. Hmm. I mean, obviously we would want most of the squashes in the center three lanes because the outer ones have snow peas, right? I'd imagine that'd be the best bet. I'm not exactly sure what kind of zombies we're gonna run into, but so far it's none, no zombies. And honestly, if we had the extra sun, I should be doubling up on walnuts where I can. Where are the zombies? <laughs> I don't know. This is really weird. I guess it's just to give us time to like build stuff up. Maybe I really should be putting some of the squashes out. It seems like I should have. Um, that's fine, I can work on it now. So I can do this, that, and this. And then just boom, boom, and oh, pick up that sun. Well, let's not get too distracted here. Um, yeah, I think we're fine there. I'll just put a walnut, I'll squash these. And then walnut there. Yeah, maybe getting some extra squashes out wouldn't have hurt. Okay, final wave approaching now, so it's like one way or another, I think we're fine. Get rid of the bucket head over this way. Walnut there. Yeah, I guess we really just wanna wait for them to line up at the walnut, because then we can get rid of a bunch of them at once, super duper easily. Then we got all the, uh, the grapes too. Okay, I think we're fine. This is such an odd level. The zombies just didn't show up for a while and then we win. On clear. And with it, a bunch of extra coins, 47 coins, and one taco token. So now we're back out here. I think I need to do one more. Yes, one more. So with this one, we get all sorts of plants, but nothing new. Ooh, a lot of lily pads to start things off. The only problem is we don't get any extra. So really gotta make the most out of what we have here. Three more flags to survive. So making sure that these sunflowers produce as much sun as possible so that we can get the plants out and protect these lily pads. Because once we're out, we're out. There's not even any walnuts either. Okay, gonna grab that one. Just like that. And here come our first set of zombies over here. I think we can just do a snow pea for those two. That shouldn't be too big of a deal. Oh, and it's also the imp too. Once again, we have this huge cluster of zombies showing up on the same lane. Which honestly, if it's gonna be like that, then I think it really would be worth it to either get a bong choy or the squash. Okay, they already ate through that lily pad basically instantly. So time for the squash. Boom, got rid of a bunch of them there. If I can get one more sun. I should really save it though, because as you can see on these other lanes, we have zombies popping up now. I feel like I didn't really play that as well as I possibly could have. There's another lily pad because of it, darn. Yeah, we can't stop that one in time. So unfortunate. Uh, this is already getting a little overwhelming. I think I didn't really plan out how to survive that well enough. It's okay though. I can just get one more row, a couple more things. I think we'll be okay. Because I just squashed this whole group. There's two pigeon zombies there even, so that's really nice. Bong choy there. Two more sun to get us a sunflower would be great. Just need a little bit more. Come on, come on, you can do it. We've already gotten through the first flag, but that zombie on the top, I haven't done much about them. Let's slow you down a bit. Inevitably, I'm losing some uh, lily pads here. Just <laughs> seems to be what's gonna happen. Okay, I just need two more sun. We got another bong choy for that top lane. I think that would be good. Got it. Got it. Got it. There you go. A huge wave of zombies is approaching, but we almost had the Grapes of Wrath, as well as a couple of other things. So I think we'll be in the clear soon enough. One more snow pea would be good too. All right. Um. Right there. This is so much. 
But if we can just do a bong choy here, get rid of the imp and stuff. And then I just need a squash behind it for when things get a little scary there. Because there is multiple bucket heads coming in. Oh, that was a good slam, actually. I'm really happy with that one. And now here come those Grapes of Wrath. I think we're in a pretty good spot here at this rate. I think we just put pea shooters wherever else we can. And we'll be in the clear. So put that there, final wave approaching. The only one I'm worried about is the one where the lily pads really got cut back. Especially with a Gargantuar coming over. Wow, uh, that's terrifying actually. So I really just want to sort of go overboard with it. Put as much firepower in that bottom lane as I can. Even if there are pigeons and stuff to worry about on the other lanes, I think I'll be fine there. There we go. Okay, so I think at this point I just speed this up and see how much damage we end up doing. Obviously some of this stuff is gonna get slammed like that. Then I just put another one out there and get a couple more punches out. Nice, nice. And then as soon as you do that, I just punch it away again. Or just put something else there. There you go, squash, squash, squash. There you go, we made it work. Awesome. Okay, so lawn clear right there. We get ourselves a bunch of coins coming in, 65 coins. And it's lunchtime. We get ourselves a nice golden lunch box with even more power-ups and coins. So far, the only use of coins we have found is replaying levels or like continuing the levels if we start to fail them, which is sort of a little bit weird. I feel like there's gotta be other things to spend our coins on eventually. Let's upgrade Mo and see if this helps them out a little bit. Just need to apply the simple gear here, adjust the turbo whizzer, and fasten the slime filter. There, that should do it. Ah, I feel like a million units of nano currency. Query, do I detect new internal modifications? You know a little buddy. I beefed up your filtration system and added a new slime sucking hose attachment. You're welcome. All those welds will need some time to heal. We'd better bark our bongus here for a while and run a few tests. Decoration, I will test my new functionality on this slimy pool. So I guess we gotta filter this out a little bit more. If we can if we can get enough tickets, we can de de decontaminate it. Why is that word so hard for me to say? Uh, let's try this out. Oh, there's a new plan too. We get ourselves the returning lightning read. Unleashes a chain lightning attack, damaging up the three zombies at once. Shocking, so exciting. Okay, so lightning read shocks zombies in its lane or one lane over. So as you can see, either of these zombies will get zapped. And also all these pigeons. Lightning Reed's attacks can even chain between multiple zombies when they group up. So as you can see here, even the, the pigeons we can't reach still get zapped. So our job now is just to continue that a little bit and see how far we can get. I think also getting a walnut out here and there wouldn't be too bad of an idea. So we should probably get some lightning reeds out on the sides just to make sure we're reaching everything appropriately. But honestly, this feels like one of those levels where I can actually speed it up and be fine. Um, I do need something on that bottom lane as soon as possible, so I just need more sun. There we go. Just to get rid of that pigeon. So the walnut right there seems good. This level really shouldn't be too difficult. Which is great, the faster I can get through some of these levels, the better, because there's a lot of levels to get through, because a lot of these take multiple tickets now just to get through one segment of the day, and there's 15 segments now. So just, it's gotten pretty crazy in terms of like what there is to do in one episode. Okay, so lots of zapping happening all over the place. We can handle it, now it's just earning up sun for the lightning rings. He's Pigeons don't stand a chance, it's crazy. And we got the, the, the Grapes of Wrath. There we go. So, long, clear, super easy level, happy to see it. We get our extra coins, we can bounce out of here and go ahead and get Mo to um, clean this pool. So, decontaminate the pool, do it. Whoa, sparkly clean. The water looks fantastic, Mo. Great job. Uh, our pool parties used to be so much fun. Fun? Query, what is fun? You don't know what fun is? That's so sad. It's like, what do you enjoy doing? What makes your day better? Reducing zombies to their base organic components. Guess what I found at the bottom of the pool? All the parts I need for our fog vacuums 
Propplegurk. Rest up all you can, little buddy. We'll be ready to take back Neighborville before you know it. Since we're resting anyway, could we throw a pool party for Mo? He doesn't know what fun is. Isn't that messed up? Yes, a grackle pool party. I can build some new toys and test Mo's new compressor in the process. Break out the inflatables. All right, so I guess we have a couple of things here. Oh my gosh, three levels to get through though if we wanna add an inflatable lounger and then two more for pump up pool toys. Well, let's get started. Over here, we have more of the lightning reed, but now we also have bonk choy, squash, walnut. We could definitely do a thing or two with this one, but with not many sunflowers and no option to add more, it could get complicated. So the two prime spots we wanna pull lightning reed is gonna be here and here. That way it can reach the adjacent lanes and it ends up, sort of just using walnut as my pointer here, but it ends up actually hitting every lane worth of zombies. So that's what I'm currently focused on. Eventually we'll be able to get the bonk toys out there too, but I'll put walnuts a little bit farther out, maybe about here. I think that's a good idea. Mostly focused on the lightning reeds for now, but eventually I wanna make the most out of the walnut timers. So one more sun should do the trick and then boom, we got a lightning reed on each lane for now, so an imp shouldn't stand much of a chance, I would think. And I'm guessing a lot of the zombies will end up marching down this center lane with all the dirt where we can't plant, so. Just doing what I can with what I got here. Four sunflowers doesn't make a ton of sun. Okay, I guess for now we should do that, and then soon enough I can make another walnut. Yeah, they are really all just marching down that one way. So, okay, well the imps are coming down from other directions now too. Luckily with the walnuts, I think we'll be fine. Okay. Got it, got it. Yeah, this is feeling pretty good. I feel like more than anything that the bonk choice will eventually be useful, I suppose, but right now it's all in with the lightning reeds and maybe a squash if we're really feeling that friend. Okay, there's more zombies on this side, so I think uh, the lightning reed on this side makes a lot of sense. Now the pigeon zombies are coming in. Not good. There we go. Making a lot of chain attacks. I might want to add a one out on that bottom lane, right there. Okay, grabbing that sun. We could go for four uh, lightning reeds on both of these lanes. I think that'd be pretty good right about here for now. And we're destroying this pretty well so far. I think that we can even speed it up and be fine. Final wave approaching. We're handling it pretty well. The Grapes of Wrath is gonna pop up any moment now too. Haven't used the bong choice just yet. Now might be the time to start getting them out. I don't know, a lot of these zombies can't even reach the walnuts before they get knocked out. But I got a bong choy there, then the grapes come out. Here we go. Just one more right there, we win. Awesome, pretty quick level, long clear, lighting reads, still proving to be a really, really fun type of plan. So, with that out of the way, we are enjoying PVZ3, but I'll rate it some other time. We want to just play another level because we need at least two tickets for our next event. So for this one, we get lightning read and Snoopy. No bonk choy this time. Okay, so. Get that right about there. We wanna get sunflowers loaded up in the back as much as possible. We actually get the place to sunflowers this time, which is a little scary at first because we're not starting with as many, obviously, but I think in the end they'll be better because I can place a ton of them. Got it. So I'll probably make sort of like a sideways T formation with the sunflowers. That way we can put the lightning reeds in the most optimal spots for the most part. Got that there. The first zombie's gonna pop up, of course, in a spot where I can't put a plant. So I think that's where we maybe get our first lightning reed just like that. Okay, not too bad. I just need one more thing of sun. There we go. More zombies showing up over there. So I think the one lightning reed could maybe handle it, but just to be safe. I would like to put out another one, then we can focus on getting more sunflowers out here soon. Cause that's enough to probably damage them down all the way. I would hope. If not, I'm in trouble. But can they get that one in? Here's hoping, there it is, awesome. So now they just immediately start focusing on the next thing, which is exactly what I wanted from them. So 
I want to get the sunflowers, like I said, in this sort of like T formation. Huge wave of zombies is approaching. Let's get some lightning rings over here because I know that they're going to be popping up there sooner or later. And then maybe a walnut here. I think that's a good enough spot for it. There we go. That damage chaining up really, really well. Okay, another lightning rune on this side. We almost have enough for another walnut. We'll get another sunflower out there, though. Okay. Let's put that walnut right here. There we go. Protect those lightning reeds at all costs. That's the most important thing. We lose a sunflower occasionally. Not too big of a deal. The lightning reeds would be a lot more difficult to replace. Okay. So. Ignoring basically everything else and just putting down lightning root seems to be the best sort of move so far though. So much so that I might even be willing to get rid of a sunflower for more space for a lightning root. That seems pretty good. I think this is where we can maybe even speed things up a little bit. I can do that. That should be enough sunflowers for the rest of this level, I think. Get that lightning root right there. And we just have squashes if we need them, but it looks like the Grapes of Wrath are going to do most of the work here. Getting more sun wherever I can. The final wave is approaching after all. Okay, see this is where it gets a little bit scary with the Gargantuar, but that's where I can just dig up a Sunflower, slow things down for a moment, get more Walnuts and stuff out, and then we're just going to dig up what I can. Just like that. That should be fine. So I can even speed this up again, I think. Another lightning read out. We already have one snow piece slowing him down. I don't think it's gonna be worth it to get another. And there we go, we win! Awesome! Another pretty quick level, long clear. And with it, a bunch of extra gravestones, 64 coins, and a taco ticket. That should be enough for one of our things. So I'll go do that now. Uh, right over here, the pump up pool toys. So we either have these really cute uh, boiled plant and then cactus and then hot dog, or this one's like a little basketball game with coconuts. And this one has a rubber ducky, a cherry, and a little sea shroom. I think out of all these, I just, I love the sea shooter here, it's so cute. Good job, Mo. Which one do you want? Better call it dibs before Patrice does. Query, won't these inflatables become deflatables when my blades touch them? That might be the case. Lunch time, we get ourselves a new task reward. What is it gonna be inside of here? 250 coins, an extra little sun bonus, and of course, extra brain time. All right, very cool stuff there, but we got plenty more to do. We need to earn up three more tickets, so we got more lightning root action. I'm happy to see it. I love the lightning root so far. Ready, set, plant. Okay, so this one seems pretty involved with all the lily pads and stuff. I think that for the most part, I just wanna get sunflowers on the lily pad spot, spots and we'll work our way out from there. That seems pretty doable to me. But I'm guessing that it expects me to do a lot more than just put lightning reeds down this time with the bamboo shoots and the bong choy and snow peas. We'll just have to wait and see exactly where the zombies end up popping up before I make my decision. Looks like a little imp right down that way. So if I could just get the five sun to zap that guy out of there, I'd be really happy. And another zombie's popping up too, so boom, I can get that there. And I think that'll be enough to get rid of an imp. It's just one lightning read. So if in the meantime, I could just do that. I don't have any additional walnuts or anything, so that's also sort of a concern here. I need two more sun. There's one more. Okay, I did get rid of the imp, awesome. I just wanna get one more lightning read on that side and then just Keep it moving, keep it moving. I could work on more sunflowers now. I think that's a great idea. Got it. That one walnut is getting pretty beat up, so might be time for another lightning read. Huge wave of zombies is already approaching. So scary how fast that's happening. And I will just... Keep at it with the sunflowers for a little bit longer. This is just one flag of two, but I do see that one uh, cone head up there. So if I could do that, probably a good idea. Yeah, unfortunately they got through that walnut already, which is really scary actually. So we just gotta zap through them with the lightning reeds as much as possible. Last sunflower right there. 
So if we could just get the lightning read on that top land lane, just like this, we can start focusing on some other things, I think. For right now, I guess Bung Choice would be the next best thing, and then Snow Peas, or maybe we can do Snow Pea first. Just put a Snow Pea right there while we have the space for it. Final wave is approaching. Got that there, just like this. So many zombies, so much action. Okay, now that we've done that, Bung Choi right here seems like the best move. And Bung Choi on the top there behind my one walnut will be the next move. Okay. Got it. And got it. Okay, here come the uh all the grapes but honestly it's not too big of a deal because it's just a bunch of pigeons so i might just be able to speed through this like this and boom we won the level that's the first of three that we're getting done here on clear got all this sorry from skipping through it a little fast but because there's so much ahead of us i really want to keep it moving okay so what do we got next then right here nothing too crazy with this one but we do get the the privilege of actually placing our lily pad so that's good so I wanna make the most out of that and actually set up as many of them as I can. So I'll do that for now. I don't know if we're, we're gonna get a zombie straight away. But usually at this point, it gives us a good chunk of time before. So I just can only hope it'll do that this time. Got that there. All right, that's pretty good. Then another lily pad out that way. We just. Need to fill up with as many lily pads as possible, but with the one sunflower there, I probably want to work on getting a lightning read out on this one. Because we don't have anything much in the way of like instant takedown, so lightning reads will be pretty good, and then setting up walnuts to protect them maybe about there, I think would be also a good idea. In the meantime now, if I could just get more sunflowers out, also a great idea. Another lily pad right there, don't want to waste time with that. Got it. I think I'll put some more sunflowers on the bottom side here. Lots of sunflowers already. This one, like progression-wise, happening really fast. I got through that walnut already. Wow, that was pretty quick. And luckily, I can make some more here in a moment, but with a huge wave of zombies coming in, it definitely can prove to be a bit stressful. Come on, one more lightning read on the bottom lane, I think. Another lily pad right there. And more sunflowers on the sides. <laughs> I just I feel like that's like my best bet at the moment. So I guess I will do that. That's working out pretty well. I might need a walnut down about. Oh no, I don't. I don't. Oh no. Okay, we're good. If anything, I might work backwards a little bit there. Keep those lily pads coming out though. We do have enough for the walnut now. I might just put it here. That's where all the zombies are. Might as well take advantage of protecting against that. So much going on, that top lane looking a little scary. Come on, come on. One lily pad to slow them down is all I needed. Okay, we're good, we're fine. I'll put that there. Nice, nice. Things are working out pretty well so far. I can put this here. Maybe a walnut. I, I think here would be a good spot for it. The lightning read. Yeah, this is looking great. Okay. So at this point, we're sort of just coasting, trying to get as many lightning reads out as we can. I don't think it's really all that necessary to get a pea shooter out in this situation. I don't know really what it would do for us. So I think I'd rather just keep with lightning reads. This is definitely gonna be my go-to plant for a while with how good it is so far. Cause how can you not like this? This is perfect. Get that there, got it. We have a lot of sun left over. This is where it gets a little bit scary and where I probably just want to put out as many lily pads as possible to slow down this gargantuar. Get some lightning reads out on the other lanes just to really start zapping them. Okay. And the lily pad once again to slow you down. And then maybe a wanna there. Got it. 
so much electricity all over the place. I have all the sun I feel like I need for the situation. So we're just gonna keep zapping you with this stuff. Oh no. This is where I might start losing lightning rings if I'm not careful. Oh, and the incoming out too. That could be disastrous. Okay. Oh no. This guy does not quit. It's pretty crazy actually. There we go. Just keep zapping this guy with everything I got. It's taking a while. It's taking a lot out of us. Just keep slowing you down. Oh, he's not even gonna go for that one? Great. Okay, finally, that took forever. Lawn clear. Jeez, that was pretty rough for the Gargantuar, but I mean, we only lost some plants. You know, we sort of cycled through the lily pads and stuff to really buy some time there. It turned out pretty well. Okay, very good stuff. That means we have one last level to tackle here if we want to be able to get to the next um, upgrade. So, there's a little water path sinking its way through here. We are just going to put down the sunflowers as we always do. Can't really play much of the game without the sunflowers now, can ya? Got that there. And, got some more sun, which means some more sunflowers. Got it, so with this one, I feel like the strategy is all the same. Just lightning reeds and more lightning reeds, so. As soon as the zombies start popping up, I will try to deal with them with that. Looks like it's gonna be on the bottom lane for now. So if I could just get one more sun right there, lightning read time, and that should deal with that zombie pretty quick. So I can go back to earning up all the sunflowers we've been working on and finish up our first row of lily pads. Okay, I'll get that there. I think sunflower here. A lot of the zombies are popping up in very similar spots, which is nice. I get one more sun. I can work on another lightning ring for that because they are working through that walnut pretty quick, which I need to save that for as long as possible. So just keep up with that for a bit. But I do want to be ready for when the zombies are popping up on other lanes now, so maybe get one there. Just continuing with the lily pads everywhere else though. Maybe getting more sunflowers out for right now would be a good idea. There's just so much going on with all this. Get that there. And ooh, the pigeons coming back in. I think we're doing an okay job at dealing with them. I think a walnut there to protect the lightning ring seems like a good idea. If we need to, we can always get rid of that sunflower in the back. There we go. I think another sunflower right on the bottom there. Here we go. We're making stuff happen. A huge wave of zombies is approaching, but I think we're in a spot just to keep damaging them down. If a gargantuar shows up, that's where I might be a little bit more scared. But for right now, it seems fine. There was definitely some points earlier where it seemed like the difficulty was spiking up a lot, but ever since we got the lightning read, we've been keeping up pretty well. It's been a little less interesting in some ways because the strategy has just been get lightning reads out as fast as you can, over and over. <laughs> but we do have other plans here that I can try to get, but why would I bother with that when this is clearly the best idea for right now? So I'm just trying to speed that up a little bit. Um, might slow it back down for a moment again, just because I'm sure some crazy zombies are gonna be showing up here in a moment or two. I had the guess. Final wave approaching. Gonna get more lightning rings. And maybe more lily pads. Okay, there's that Gargantuar coming in. And with this one, this is definitely where it gets crazier because I just don't have, you know, squashes or even a snow pea to slow it down all that much. So I really want it to get ahead of me or get ahead of the bong choy and then get the bong choy behind it for obvious reasons. Slow it down a little bit to, uh, if I put it in front, but it'll actually be able to continually hit it if I put it behind. Ooh, that's not so good. But as soon as it tries to slam down again, boom, just replace that lily pad. There we go, there we go. Ooh, the imp causing me some problems there, actually. Here, lily pad again. 
and then I guess I get lightning reeds on the side too. Just anything to slow this guy down, and this time I'm actually able to clear them out a lot faster because of the help of the bong choice. That's excellent. So lots of coins coming in, 57 coins in total. I guess I could have doubled it, or we could save it for later. Uh, there we go. That was pretty nice. So let's see what else we got going on here. That was enough tickets to, of course, add inflatable lounger to the pool. So we have either this like rowboat one, this cool flamingo one, or the happy sunflower. I gotta go with the happy sunflower. That lounger looks so inviting. I'd love to relax, but there's just so much more to do first. Observation, voluntary suspension, and recept receptacle full of liquid equals fun. This pool party is gonna be awesome. We need to set up some poolside furniture to lounge around in. Make sure to le leave some room for the dancing. Did I ever tell you that I'm a five-time disco dance-off champion? Advisory dancing is an inefficient use of energy. Maybe you're right, Mo, but it's fun. That's what pool parties are all about, remember? Statement, safety is important too. A sunshade to guard your outer layers from sunburn is advised. A new fence to protect our inner layers from zombies might not be a bad idea either. So it looks like we have even more upgrades lined up for us and they're gonna require even more things to do. So I think that this is where we gotta keep going. Um, we have a hard level ahead of us, but to be honest with you, day four seems to be pretty long and we're only a little bit more than halfway through it. So I think that maybe we'll finish it there. We got the pool set up, it looks super cozy, but if we want to add more to it, we'll do that in the next episode of Plants vs. Zombies 3, Welcome to Zomburbia. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.